Hello, and welcome to Art Snacks. Today we're going to get a little bit weird because we're going to go inside the human ear. We're going to look at the parts of the ear and try to figure out how people hear, okay? So I'm going to start here with the outside of the ear, the part that sticks out on the outside of your head. And I'm going to make a little thickness to it. Here's the lobe. Okay, here's the part that leads into the ear. We're going to do this weird thing now. We're going to draw the inside of the head so we can kind of see what's going on the inside. And first it's going to lead into the ear a little bit here. Okay, and this is the ear canal. This is where the wax builds up. Okay, now you've got to clean those ears once in a while. Don't ever stick anything in your ear, by the way, except for your elbow. Right. Now this ear canal leads into a little part down here. What is this part right here called where sound bounces off of? It's called the eardrum. Okay, the eardrum. Now, once that sound hits the eardrum, it transmits these little vibrations to another part of the ear. It's a little, little bony part of the ear called the malleus or the mallet. The mallet sort of transfers the vibration, so you got these vibrations going on inside the ear. They hit the eardrum, vibrate the malleus or the malus, okay, and they transfer that, that vibration here across this little bony part to a part of the ear. It's called, it's called the cochlea. No, it's not called the cochlea. Yeah, it's called the cochlea. Uh, and it's a part of the ear that kind of looks like this and has like a snail thing happening here. Okay, so it's this is all going on here. So this vibration has now made its way through malleus and something called uh, this little bone here called the stapes. We won't get too much into detail there, but down to the cochlea. Okay, and once it gets to the cochlea, what's going to happen then is there's a nerve that goes from the cochlea to the brain and tells the brain what it's hearing. Okay, so the cochlea leads to a vestibular nerve or uh, the auditory nerve, some people call it, and that goes on to the brain. So all this weird stuff happens inside the ear. There's also a tube that sort of runs down called the eustachian tube. And if you've ever had your ears feel like they need to pop when you're in a plane or up in the mountains because pressure is equalizing between your ears and, and um, the eustachian tube, when you yawn it feels better. There's sort of stuff going on inside there. So here's that eustachian tube going from so here, let's go back through the ear canal, okay, gets to the eardrum. This is why you don't want to put anything in your ear, because if you ever pop that eardrum, you're in serious trouble. The eardrum sort of creates, collects those vibrations and goes to the malleus, this, this bony part of the ear here, okay, and that transfers the sound or the vibrations over to the cochlea, and the cochlea transfers or moves it on to the auditory nerve or the vestibular nerve uh, to the brain so the brain can hear, okay. If you want to dress up this a little bit. You can shade, add a little shading, add some hair if you want. Now that's a real look inside your head. See you next time.